at a first look, this model looks fine, and even if rendered it should do pretty well. However, if you check out the shading using a highly reflective matcap, you can see some issues. Surfaces that should be flat, seem to have some distortion. It's particularly noticeable with n-gons. To fix this, you can use the normal flatten tool. Select one or multiple flat faces, and run the flatten tool from the normal sub-menu. Much better. Blender actually has a tool for this already. It's called Set from Faces. The difference is, it doesn't respect sharp edges, but Mesh Machine's normal flatten does. You may notice that some of the shading on the bevels also doesn't seem quite right. You can fix this by selecting a polygon strip and run the straighten tool from the normal sub menu. It corrects the shading on cylindrical or conical surfaces. One thing to keep in mind is, while you can run the tool with multiple selection islands, the selections need to be apart, they can't be next to each other. So in a case like this, I have to run the tool two times, once for each section of the bevel. You can also use it on cyclic selections, as on this cylinder, but you may have to patch sections of it like this. Finally, if you are working with low-resolution geometry, you can use the flatten tool to shade chamfers next to flat faces like bevels. Just make sure the angle threshold is big enough. You can toggle it by pressing A, followed by moving the mouse horizontally. There are also presets mapped to the keys at the bottom left of the keyboard. This angle limit is another way of maintaining hard edges, for cases where sharp edges aren't marked.